All right guys, so we're now gonna be replacing the Thorell bearing on this transmission. So we've got our new Thorell bearing right here. And the way this thing works is basically, this is where your clutch cylinder pushes and it moves this thing along the uh, input shaft. So to remove this, we're just gonna push this all the way forward like that. And then we're just gonna basically pull this guy right off just like that. And so that's how we remove our old bearing. And this one pretty jammed up. So we got that guy out, and now we've got our actual uh, metal fork that the clutch slave cylinder pushes against to move that forward. So we're basically going to pull this thing right off. So I'm just going to do this without breaking that spring. Just like that. So this is the uh, fork, and it's rotating on this ball right here. And then we've got this little metal clip that sits on the inside of this clutch. And then he's got these two little indents right there where these things sit. So that's how this guy should fit. So I'm gonna clean this up with some uh, rags as well as some brake parts cleaner. And so we're just gonna clean up these surfaces. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, brake grease onto this stuff or any high temperature grease. And we're just gonna be putting that a very light coat around this shaft right here, around this ball. And then if you would like also you can put some in the top of uh, where your actual clutch slave cylinder pushes against this uh, fork right here. So we're going to be working on that. Okay, so we've got our fork all lubed up. Now we're gonna take our spring and it's going to sit right in there like that. Now I've got this guy. It's right on there. That is our new thrill bearing installed on our transmission. Now we can keep going. Thank you all for watching and I hope this helps.